So it might, well, maybe you, a vertical strip coming up and, and well, then into a flat across yeah, there and then welded onto the bed. Oh. Which goes yeah, straight into the coupling. Yeah. Um, and then and the hoses I've I've removed from the oil cooler. Um, wherever, they're, they're down there and there. There's a gauge. Presumably, there's a oil pressure gauge up there somewhere. Yeah, the, uh, one one is working. Uh, one's working oil pressure gauge. Right. Uh, well, then then what? You have so to push this whole shaft back again. Leave it. Do you lever this? With something, or, or I, I just did it by hand. I just it's, wiggle it. Yeah, yeah. wiggle it. Well, just which a bit. it doesn't always happen, but this is. I think the shaft must be fairly new, so it hasn't worn grooves in it that okay. the packing then jams up on. So now that's slid back very nicely, um, and then all the bolts around here. I've put them up here in the right in the order that they've come out. Okay, because um, they all seem to be completely different lengths. Um, for some reason, <laughs> maybe is that maybe, the, or maybe the threads have stripped um, at some point, and um, so the bolts have got longer and longer in certain positions. So that's yeah, that's there and there. The only one that wouldn't fit in there was a stainless one, which is uh, in holding that bracket on. But that's that's pretty obvious where that fits okay. back. So we just got the. Um, whole weight on those two bolts at the moment and if we pull the uh, uh, just lift the gearbox up a little bit we'll be able to slide that wood underneath and then pull it back a fraction hopefully enough to clear the flywheel coupling and once it comes back an inch or so then Out. a bit of brute force and uh, just get it over here I think is my plan Okay, moment. well, call me in for brute force and ignorance because I can do that. Yeah, yeah, good. They're not very big, but they're quite heavy, these, aren't they? Right, there's a lot of metal in them. Let's just make a, make a loop. Hold on. I don't know if that goes through there. You'd probably just tie it off as well because. Really yeah, you don't. Trust. Uh, that'd be all right, isn't it? I think you trust it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do? Just sit it down or are you going to take it down? I think just come sideways because you're going to obviously need to get the flywheel up after this. Let's just see what happens. Right. Right. Okay, good. Now can we lift it high enough to get it over here? Um, for uh, the segment. Oh, then we need to go forward. Yeah, mind your fingers. Yeah. Just push down on the back. So yeah, that. Okay, yeah. sure. Okay. Then, can you stick them to you a bit? Put the stick on top of the battery box, Peter. Oh, no, I'll leave it. Well, right. I could now. Hold on. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh it went. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a bit of a knot there. <laughs> well, it may be shorter because that's what I wanted. Yeah. Okay, right. Go ahead. Is the offending flywheel? Not quite. Not, not quite. Have <sighs> you got to a container? Um, I'll have to put them in. Yeah. There's that little blue one. Oh, well, I've got one here actually.
Oh, hello. <coughs> now that's the flywheel. That's <laughs> so what is that? Flick friction plate? Drive plate, yeah. Oh, cl right. More clutch plate. <coughs> I think it's all right, <coughs> isn't it? Not much to go wrong with these, really. From the springs falling apart, but yeah. looks and the, press. <coughs> yeah, and the teeth. I think the teeth are pretty good. The engine's blow down, isn't it? Yeah. It's got it much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wow. <laughs> In fact they've had to grind it out, haven't they? Yeah. Whoa. There's a bit of good Dutch engineering. What's this? <sighs> this thing here. The, no, look, it's it's so close to the bottom they've had to cut out part of the bellows and Oh right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. It fits where I don't, it. I don't know whether it's <coughs> worth replacing that, doesn't it? While it's, while we've got it out, let's have a look in the daylight maybe. See what the spines look like. Looking by the, gu oh, the yeah. gunk in there, it's not sitting there and that. No, they're a bit off centre, aren't they? Maybe clean it up and have a look. So how does that work now? I mean, that's... Um, it's like it a clutch is, plate, really. Yeah, but it's um, not got any... But, it's just a shock absorber. Yeah. Yeah, but it's yeah. not got any, um, you know, like on the clutch plate, you know, like... Uh, There's no, no slip friction, no. No, 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 no. Anything like that. No, so it's no. just a straight all, plate. All the slip takes place in the gearbox. Yeah, with a... That's clip. just like a shock absorber to stop to take the snatch out of it. To yeah. Gives it a little buffer. And just converts, just conversion really to get the drive mm. to it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, So many washers on there. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I just love impact. I've only just got this. Really? It's oh, bad. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Old oh, man spanner, good. really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's really good. I'll be standing there straining. Yeah. Mm. Right. Let's see if it'll move. Big Hit hammer. Hit it. <laughs> I need a bar for better hitting in for a bit of steel pipe or something. Yeah. A mooring pin. Mooring pin, pin. Yeah. The bigger, the bigger, the better. Okay, I have a large one. Lovely. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. that's coming off easy now. Okay, uh, we can use those as lifting eyes, can't we? Uh, can we yep. go through and... Well, just put the strap through. Yeah. It's just easy it's to do it. Swing, it. Isn't it? Uh, oh yeah, so it's... Yeah, then it would be better if it was, there was two, that and that. Uh, and I'm just looking at this as well. It's coming. There you go. Um, yeah. yeah, it's lovely. Steel toe caps? <laughs> yeah. yeah. As always. Okay. Good. Brilliant. Oh, well, that's a yeah. lot. It's not that big, is it? <laughs> not like a lister. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Wow, a bit bird. Oh, yeah. This is one place where it's really bad, isn't it? Yeah, leaking yeah. a bit of oil behind there. Oh, look at that, yeah. Whoa. Smashed off, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of oil. Mm. Yeah, the oil seal, are you there? <laughs> well, it's like a creeping disease. <laughs> so. Okay, well, uh, after a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears, that's the result of our labours, which is the uh, the flywheel, uh, the stops motor that turns it, and uh, this thing, which is the 
clutch, uh, for want of a better word. Right, uh, and then in the back of the car, and we're on our way to, to the backyard in Windsor to see Stephen Dilly. Uh, and hopefully, he can change this ring. Alright, now we're now coming into the Tom's jo Tom Jones boatyard in Windsor. Right, second stop of the day, um, and this time to pick up bearings at Mr. T. Norris Marine Equipment. And this is what we've picked up. Anyway, it's going to support the uh, steering shaft and uh, stop it wobbling about, which will hopefully cure our jumping problem. But anyway, there you go. Cheeky 190 odd quid, but hey, we're getting there, ticking it off the list. Nice few sparks for you, Ian. Yeah, it's all good, all very photogenic. <laughs> Can you see the flames in the build there? <laughs> oh, I did drop some diesel down there yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just pop it in before you go to bed, yeah. Just make sure. <laughs> Alright, Nice one. Yeah, well done. Oh. Okay, back in the engine room. Show you what's been achieved. We got the new oil filter and its stand. Which is a big step forward and that's uh, with oil pipes into the oil cooler and into the engine. Okay, and that's what we ended up with. Uh, new bearing on the end of the shaft and um, the old bearing which was all the way back here um, well it, it was a two inch bearing on a one and a half inch shaft and it had a lot of shims in it to 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 get it to fit and uh, it was just a, it was a bodge basically and this is the real deal here nicely fitted and uh, tapped into the bulkhead so um, that hopefully will stop this shaft wafting around um, that's wafting around and um, if we get some kind of tensioner on this then um, that will stop the chain jumping I'm hoping and uh, causing problems with the steering 